Welcome to lesson 102. This is the perimeter of complex shapes. So as you can see, this is, um, this is a shape that's in your book. And it's not a simple rectangle or a simple square, but we could still find the perimeter. And you might be saying, well, okay, but we don't know these two sides here. We can figure them out. We can use logic to figure them out, okay? So let's start. Now, we're going to assume that the, all of these are right angles unless we're told otherwise, and that's gonna help us out a lot. Now, we know this whole side here is going to be six centimeters. So, uh, if we had, if we extended these sides like this, all right, then we would know that this whole side here would also be six centimeters. And since this part is four centimeters, this part is four centimeters, then A here must be two centimeters. Okay? And similarly, I'm gonna erase all of that. Similarly, we could do the same, we can um, figure out the other side, we can figure out B. So this entire thing is seven centimeters, right? And so this entire thing, this entire length here, must be seven centimeters. And since we know this is three, then that means B must be four centimeters. All right, so we can get started. We, since we know we've been able to figure out these sides that were not marked, I'm just gonna erase all of this and I'm going to label my sides that were not marked. This is two centimeters and this is four centimeters. All right, so we can get started in finding the perimeter. Now recall that perimeter, perimeter is the distance around a figure. So if I were just to walk around, if I were tiny, because these are centimeters, and I were to just walk around this figure, then it would be the total distance that I walked around. So it's measured in the same units that we would measure length, okay? And some examples of that would be centimeters, inches, meters, miles, depending on whether you're using metric or standard. All right, so we're just gonna add up all the different sides here. So we have six, we're gonna start here, okay? We have six centimeters plus three centimeters plus two centimeters plus four centimeters plus another four centimeters plus seven centimeters. All right, so I'm gonna clean this up now. And we're just gonna add these numbers together. <clears throat> and I just, you know, six and four make a 10, seven and three make a 10, and then we, so we have 26, that should be 26 centimeters. Okay. All right, here's our next, next example. Again, you're gonna have to figure out uh, the different sides. So N and M are unknowns. And again, we can use logic here. This entire side is 10. So if we were to extend this out this way, this would be six. So M is equal to six. And if we were going to extend this out at this way here, then we would see that this is also six. So N is also six because six plus two is eight. All right, so now all we have to do is add up all our sides together to get perimeter. Recall that we're using inches, so please make sure that you are using units. Eight inches plus four inches plus six inches plus another six inches plus two inches plus 10 inches. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go around and make sure I have all my sides. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six sides. All right, and again, I'm gonna add these up using tens. This makes a 10. 10 plus 10 is 20, plus another 10 is 30. So I get 36 inches. And that's really all there is to it. You have uh, two 
practice problems that you need to do for homework. So good luck with those. Please make sure that you, you can send me a question, ask me to explain it again in a different way, um, or if you have a question about the um, problems you're supposed to do for homework. Good luck. God bless.